I finally got the Walmart shoes. I'm so excited. Hey angels, it's Rosalie. I am so excited for today's video because it's something that I've been wanting to do for so, so long. I have really been into like wanting to paint my shoes. I have the Nike Air Force Ones and I remember thinking that I wanted to paint some of those because I wanted different colorways but I didn't want to pay the price for the different colorways because I know it gets expensive and I just don't, my bank is like no thank you, I don't want to, nope. A for me. So I have been seeing a lot of people posting on TikTok recently about painting the knockoff Air Force Ones from Walmart. They were literally $14.97, super inexpensive. They look very similar to the Air Force Ones. And for that price, I thought why not try this out. Again, this is something that I've been wanting to do, but I thought I was going to do it with Air Force Ones, but I don't have to spend a bunch of money to do this. So I did finally find them in my size. That's kind of why this video took a while to make is because I went to a few different Walmarts and sadly they didn't have my size. I am a six and a half in women's and it's just sometimes hard to find that size. So finally I went to one that had that size. I literally told everybody, please pray for me. I prayed before I went in there. I'm like, please, I just want that size shoe. Like I just, I need it in my life. And I did find it. Thankfully, there was only one pair of six and a half left. I grabbed it real quick. And then I also went to the painting and like arts and crafts section. And I picked up the colors that I wanted to use. So I'm going for a purple shoe for like the springtime. Plus purple is like my all time favorite color. So of course, I had to get purple. And because I watched so many videos on TikTok, of course, I am now a pro. So I thought I'd show you guys how I'm doing it. I think this will be a really chill, relaxing video where we can just chat, we can be friends, we can connect. So go grab your tea, go grab your coffee, go grab your snacks, go grab your paint or your coloring books, and let's get crafty today. This is your sign, ladies and gentlemen. Go pick up the $15 Walmart shoes, pick up some random colors, and let's get painting. Let's do this. Let me figure out this angle because I want to show you guys me painting. I also did want to mention that I bought Mod Podge. Mod Podge? I don't really know how to say that. I got it in the glossy kind. Uh, maybe I should have got matte. I'm not really sure. Let's just get started. I know you guys are excited because I am. Okay, so I'm taking off the plastic. Not really important, but I just wanted to update you guys. You guys are my only friends, so I'm taking off these laces because we don't need them. So I'm going to look up inspo pics because I don't know if I want to paint the tongue or not. I took off the laces, I opened up my paint, I'm going to shake them up, I'm going to put them in this little paint palette thing I got from the Dollar Tree. Shake, 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 shake. I got a very light purple color. And then I got a more just straight purple color. And then lastly, I got a dark purple one. I did find some inspo of what exactly I want to do on the shoe. Okay, here it goes. <gasps> I'm so excited. So while I paint my shoe, guys, this is actually so scary, by the way. I don't want to mess them up. But while I paint my shoe, I guess we will have a little bit of a serious convo. Maybe not that serious, but I just want to chat with you guys, kind of update you on my life. Um, I'm currently just learning to love who God made me and learning to accept that I don't have like full control over my life. And the only thing I do have is my decisions and also... The way I respond to things that happen to me, which has been really hard to do. I never really want to be someone who claims to be a victim. That's never my goal in life. I don't want to be considered like a victim or have a victim mentality. I know some people that are always the victim. They 
just always want to be the victim they love it when they're the ones that is getting attacked i guess and i just never want to be that and i I think I fell into that a few times and that's just not what I want for myself so I'm learning to just accept what has happened to me in my life and move on from it there is a few stray hairs on this that is making me mess up on my shoes so I'm gonna quickly go get some little baby scissors and cut that okay here are my baby scissors I'm just gonna cut these little hairs on the top off so there's no stray hairs but anyways, enough talk about mental health. I also want to talk about learning to be grateful. Once we start being grateful, we're able to just enjoy the things that we have. If we're constantly wanting more, then when do we ever get time to just accept and enjoy the things that we have in life never literally never if we are always searching for something new and exciting then we're never going to be fully satisfied and we never allow ourselves times to just be grateful. So that is something I'm working on is just being grateful for the things that I have and the things that God has blessed me with. And I hope you guys can do the same and just realize how blessed you are and just be more grateful for the little things that you have in your life. I do want to speak a little bit on my YouTube channel as well. I feel like I have not given in my all in the past couple months. That's because I just am going through some stuff personally and trying to get over some things. And I just don't really make it a point to fully be there for everyone. And I don't make it a point to like put my youtube first i usually try to work on my mental health before my social media that's why sometimes i don't post on instagram or tiktok or anything like that because i'm just working on me and i just want to be able to be healthy in real life because social media is just so much you know and i love it and i enjoy it and it actually helped me a lot throughout the years but it's not my entire life and i don't want to pretend that it is so I need to work on my real life relationships and goals first before I'm able to put them into play on social media. I see so much for my life. I see all the potential I have and sometimes I just get so scared that I won't follow through and so I chicken out and I stop doing the things I love. For instance, YouTube. I saw a lot of growth in 2020 and I feel like towards the end I kind of gave up and that's because I don't want to see failure so I just give up before any failure can happen which is not good and it's something that I want to work on so I am looking to just get back on YouTube full time again. I want to go back to posting three times a week and if I don't post three times a week I'm not going to make it a big deal. But that is going to be a goal of mine again just because that was a goal of mine before and I want it to again be a goal of mine. So if you guys have any video ideas please let me know because if I'm going to be posting three times a week I don't want to run out of ideas for you all. Okay so I've painted the back now and also the front. It's kind of drying weird. The TikToks did not mention it drying this weird. I don't think you can even tell on camera, but it just has a little bit of streaks and it might be the brush that I'm using. Who really knows, but I'm going to continue because I'm really excited about it. Even if it doesn't come out like the best, I already know I'm going to love it because I'm painting the shoes purple, like my favorite color. I was just thinking while I was painting of a different topic and I guess it's like my biggest fear turned into like reality so my biggest fear i guess has always just been loneliness and like not feeling loved that has always been my biggest fear just i really don't know it might stem from some trauma in my past honestly who knows but that has always been my fear now i do this weird thing where I basically project that onto people and so I tend to push people away. I don't make friends very easily. It's very hard for me to open up 
Or if I do open up, I open up way too much and I tell them all my deepest, darkest secrets and I overshare and then they know way too much about me and it just ends up being a whole mess. But normally what I do is I just kind of zone them out. I don't really connect with people all that well. And again, I'm not really sure the reason behind it. It makes my biggest fear a reality because I end up not finding the love that I need. I end up not being able to have as many people in my life or connect with people, which really stinks. So if you guys experience that, let me know. Like if your biggest fear is something that you actually make happen in your real life, let me know. And by biggest fear, I definitely don't mean like I'm afraid of spiders. Nothing like that. Like more so with relationships and personal things like that. By the way, this whole painting video probably is going to make no sense the entire time. But I'm kind of just rambling on and just saying whatever thoughts come to my mind. By the way, this is starting to look really good. The second layer, I feel like, is doing a lot better than the first layer. Also, speaking about friends, I recently have found some amazing people in my life that love me and genuinely care about me. People who will tell me when I'm wrong, but also will tell me when I'm right. Like, people that are straight up with me who care about me and I know who love me and want to direct me the correct way and not to lead me to do dumb things or to do things that don't make sense. I want people to lead me to better myself. Yeah, so it's so amazing that God has put a couple people in my life who genuinely care about me who want to see me do better and I want to see them do better as well. I feel like we tend to find relationships that serve us rather than serve the other people. Um, and I think I was doing that for so long of just like what can they provide me? What can they do for me? How are they going to be a good friend to me? And I wasn't thinking about how I can be a better friend to them or serve them in any way and I think that is why I lost so many friendships for so long because I was just expecting way too much from these people when I should have just been providing myself to these people and loving them and I'm not saying to give up your soul to them or anything like I'm not saying give too much and not enough to like yourself because how can you fill a cup if you're empty you know what I'm saying you have to be full in order to help fill somebody else's cup I'm gonna let these dry and I'm also gonna try to take off this part here because I totally messed it up which I'm really sad about but I kind of knew I was gonna do that because I'm really clumsy but we'll see if not it's not a big deal it just has a little bit of a mess up the purple on this, like the dark purple on this, looks really good. I honestly didn't even try to take this off right now because it's like 1 o'clock in the morning and I'm not in the mood. So now I'm going to do like the true purple color like all along the front. I don't know if this is going to look cute, but we're going to do it anyways. I don't have a lot more to like talk about, like topics. Probably because it's literally 1 o'clock in the morning and like my brain cannot function right now if my hair is a mess I, I don't know what to tell you honestly like oh, it's one o'clock in the morning guys I messed up the shoe again I, I hope that something is gonna get this out I saw some people on TikTok using like tape to like block off the areas but I was not in the mood to do all that so I'm just hoping for the best here so whenever I'm painting or like getting artsy, it always reminds me of when I was in an art class and I had a teacher who, first of all, I don't think she liked me just to begin with, but secondly, she didn't like that I would just always rush through my artwork, which now that I'm older, I'm kind of like, okay, maybe I should have took my time with my art, but normally I was just like not in the mood I just knew what I wanted to do, so I just did it quickly. I didn't spend too much thought into it. I wasn't really creative. I was more so just like a...
everyone else. Like, I was finishing my art projects way before everyone else because I knew what I wanted. I did it. It looked good to me, and I was done. And she was like, no, you should be adding more detail. And I'm like, but it doesn't need more detail. It's perfectly fine the way it is. By the way, guys, these colors look so good together. I am so excited for this. I think you guys are going to love what the shoes look like. I think I'm going to love what the shoes look like. I'm going to sell these for about $2,000, so hit me up if you want some $2,000 pair of shoes. I don't work for free. I am an artiste. Picasso, who? Da Vinci, who? I think that's all the artists I know. Well, that's drying. I'm going to work on the last purple color, and that one I'm going to do here on this back part on both sides. So cute these colors look so good together when I was like in school and I didn't have money I didn't work or anything in high school I used to go thrifting a lot first of all which saved me so much money we'd go to this thrift store that everything was like a dollar or we would even go to these like clothing closet exchanges where basically everything there was free you just had to like also bring clothes so I would bring some clothes donate those and then I was able to take clothes and I would get so so much cute stuff I've always been into fashion I've always been into beauty just like all of that stuff I've always been into and I would just DIY everything like if I wanted a certain type of shirt that everybody was buying I would just DIY something similar out of the stuff that I would get for free or for really inexpensive. I really feel like I got super creative because I was so not necessarily poor because like we had enough money for a bunch of things but I just didn't have money for like clothes or things that I wanted that were really in at the moment so I definitely just made do with what I had. Guys, look how cute these look so far. I have to do a second layer of the other purple, but everything else looks so good. So speaking of like Walmart, since I got these shoes from Walmart, do you guys remember when Miley Cyrus had that collab with Walmart where everything was like so cute? Like, but... I had this cute outfit from Walmart from Miley Cyrus and it was like this tutu like skirt and just like so much cute stuff from their collection and I was so sad that they stopped doing it because that was where I got my cute clothes from and I remember everyone hating my style in high school I remember everyone hating my style in middle school elementary school like I've always had a very unique style that not a lot of people liked and there's even times where I did my makeup crazy and people would look at me weird and now I see people doing crazy makeup all the time that's like the new trend and I used to get like made fun of for those things and it's just so weird how life works and how high school and school doesn't really matter once you get out like I don't care about those people anymore I don't care about their opinions about me but I remember I used to care so so much about if they thought I was cool or not and now I'm like the one that they go to for advice What's weird is I never changed when I got out of high school. I didn't change my personality. I'm still pretty weird. But I think it's just that weird is more acceptable. And it's more appreciated to be you and be genuine than to be fake and put on like a fake personality. And I feel like I still struggle with identity, but I do think I've gotten a lot better at being exactly who I want to be. Look how cute these look. Okay, I'm going to do the second layer. I probably won't talk during this. Okay, so I'm working on the last shoe. I'm getting delusional. I'm super tired, but I want to finish this up. I'm starting off with the lighter color this time, just because I already had the brush in my hand, so like, why not? finished it I'm done I finished both shoes which I'm very excited about 
uh, they look amazing. I'm gonna try them on for you guys so you guys can see what they look like. These are the cutest shoes I've ever seen. So let me quickly put the shoelaces back on and show you guys. Okay, so it is currently um, probably almost 4 o'clock in the morning. I took way too long on these shoes. I also took a break or two. But guys, they are so, so cute. I'm going to show you them like this because I put them on because they were just so cute. I had to try them on, but I'll definitely do like a close-up. I love them so much. I am so thankful that TikTok like gave me the idea to actually buy these shoes they were perfect for this video and for what i wanted to do like i've been wanting to do this for so long and customize my own shoes but i hope you guys enjoyed this video i know it was pretty chill and we just kind of talked and chatted but i really wanted to do this and i thought you guys would enjoy it as well i'm so thankful that you guys continue to support and love me and show me so much support and love on my instagram on my tiktok and on here as well once again thank you for watching and i'll see you guys next time bye